Hello, darling docents. I'm the thinker, August Rodin's thinker, August Rodin's thinker. Uh, we are going to sketch and sculpt just like our dear friend August Rodin did. The first thing we did is give the child a half a piece of paper. They sketched a realistic hand. Um, some of the kids did put their hand on the paper and draw around it. That's fine. Uh, there are no grades, so they can do whatever they want. After they sketched for about five minutes, we gave them a tub of Play-Doh. Each child gets one tub of Play-Doh. We took our Play-Doh and we flattened it into a pancake shape. Uh, we did this on our desk. We did not do it on the cardboard. You do not want to put anything on cardboard until it's finished. So, we took our Play-Doh. We flattened it out like a pancake. We placed our hand on our Play-Doh and then took a plastic knife and cut around our Play-Doh. Cut around our fingers, peeled it off, and voila, ended up with a hand. We're still on our desk, not on the cardboard. This is just for display purposes. Then we had any extra Play-Doh, and you will have extra Play-Doh. And we made knuckles, we made fingernails. If girls want to, they can make a ring, but only in the same color of Play-Doh. We're not going to share our Play-Doh with others. That will just turn into a big mess. This is a third grader. This is a seventh grader. This is a fourth grader. Note the tendons. Tendons. We made tendons, fingernails, knuckles. It's harder than it looks. Uh, if the kids get frustrated, you just remind them. That's why we appreciate his uh, sculpture as much as we do, because it's not an easy feat. Okay? No pun intended. Project number two. We are going to freehand sculpt. Instead of using a car, instead of using a flat uh, hand, you can just take your tub of Play-Doh. We suggest the kids sculpt a body part first. Um, let's keep it PG, so let's just do some, you know, regular body parts, face, eye, nose, ear, mouth, uh, leg, hand, right? Uh, and sculpt your sculpture. If you can get them to sketch first, that would be great because that's what Mr. Rodan did. Sketch and sculpt, okay? There's a hand, peace sign, peace out, and here's a foot. It's falling it apart. Foot, and um, they did use a knife to um, eke out the toes in there. Pencil. Oh, pencil, sorry, pencil. pencil. But we will have plastic knives. Our third and last resort option is um, to have the children sketch a dancer. Rodan, if you remember, uh, saw Cambodian dancers. He thought they were excellent. So he sketched them sometimes on grocery paper if he didn't have art supplies. He wanted to sketch them because they were exotic. What he did was sketch with pencil and then go over with light colored pencil and color in just a little bit of it. One, two, three. This does not take very long. If you have a limited amount of time, this might be the way to go, but the kids definitely did not enjoy it as much as the Play-Doh. There should be enough Play-Doh in the meat locker, one for each child. Please do not take more than you need. Um, there are plenty of other classes that will put it to use. So this is Bob Barker saying don't forget to spay or neuter your pets. We'll see you later, guys.